There's nothing more important to us here at Southern View Chapel than the gospel of Jesus Christ or the good news. We often explain the gospel by using four words. The first word is God. Scripture tells us that our creator God is a God of love, a God of truth, a God of, of uh, wrath even against sin. He is a God who's totally different than us. That leads us to a second word, however, and that is people or humanity. Uh, we are not like God. We are born sinners from the very moment of our birth. We are in a rebellion against God. Scripture even says in Romans 5 that we are the enemies of God. And so we come to a dilemma at this point. How can unholy, sinful people be right with a holy God? God cannot simply look the other way and ignore our sins. Something must be done about our sinfulness if we're going to be right with God. It can only be possible because of our third word, which is the word Christ. The Son of God, the eternal Son of God, came to earth as a man. He lived on this earth for 30-some years in, in perfection, totally holy. Then he went to the cross of Calvary, died on, our, on that cross for our sins, died in our place, took our sins upon himself, and then was resurrected three days later to prove that he is the God who overcomes death, the God who overcomes sin. God has paid for our sins through Jesus Christ. He has taken our place. And then he offers us the gift of righteousness, the gift of being right with God. That's the good news of what he's offering us. But we're not automatically the children of God. We're not automatically saved, as Scripture calls it, simply because Christ died for us. That leads us to the fourth word, response. How do, do we respond to the gift that Christ is offering us, the gift of salvation, the gift of forgiveness? Well, Scripture says that we are given that gift simply when we receive it by faith alone. My favorite passage on this subject is Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 and 9. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not as a result of works, so that no one may boast. We cannot work our way to God. We can never be good enough to please God. But Jesus Christ pleased God. He died in our place. He took our sins. And he offers us the gift of eternal life, the gift of being right with God, simply by us receiving that gift by faith alone. If you're not certain you've ever received this good news, this gift that Christ offers us, uh, would you do so now by faith alone? Trust Him for the forgiveness of your sins.